a lot of gossip and speculation when it comes to the movie news world. I personally love it because I think it kind of markets the movie in a weird twisted way and it gets people buzzing online but I can get that some people think it's not too much of a good thing do you think that speculation and gossip around a movie is bad or good for the film fan community well I I think it's important to note a distinction between the two between speculation and, and gossip so gossip would be you know, a cosmic book movie source puts out, hey, uh, we're hearing that uh, Pauly Shore is going to play Robin, okay? So that's gossip. Bye. Now that's, that's, that's everything going around our gossip. But now, but then you get a bunch of idiots around the table saying, who do we think? If Do we think there could be a Robin uh, in the DC cinema? That's speculation. So there's a little bit of difference. Uh, gossip, I think, is fine if it is phrased properly. If it is made clear that look, there, there's a piece of gossip going around, but let's let's encapsulate this. This is gossip. There, there's no real foundation to this, but let's let's talk about it. So, I think gossip can be fine in that sort of a context. It's when we see it run out of control and gets presented as fact and becomes clickbait and all that kind of stuff. Speculation, though, I, I've heard some people, especially during the lead up to Star Wars, because there was so much speculation surrounding Star Wars for a year. Who will this Ray be? When will Luke pop up? All that, all that kind of stuff. And some people I would see online saying, you know, this is kind of, all the speculating is kind of ruining it for me. And I, I can understand that. For me personally, though, um, as a sports fan myself, the Super Bowl is coming up, right? And I'm watching ESPN every day to hear the football experts speculate about what they think might happen at the Super Bowl. Because it opens up the world. I'm never going to get on the field of a Super Bowl game. Are you kidding me? But it opens up the world for me to engage with it and be a part of it. And as you know, when Mark and I will debate later how many points the Panthers can put up <laughs> on Denver, that's us kind of engaging in it and being a part of it in our own way. And I think, like for me and myself, leading up to Star Wars Episode Seven, I mean, yeah, I don't know how many hours you and I like spend, like not even on camera, like right. off camera too, just talking stars because it's what we love and we engage with it and it immerses us in it and i personally i love as long as it's all formed like gossip if it's formed right i love the idea and the the stuff of being a film fan and being able to speculate so me personally i don't think it lessens the film experience or the film fan experience i personally think it enhances it what do you think Schnepp? um yeah, I mean, like we we talk about speculation about you know like what if this happens in this movie or what are they going to do with the characters cool in Doctor play. Strange yeah. once they cast them they're like well oh we heard this person's in the film who are they going to play that's all speculation but it's like we're discussing it and we're we're br kind of breaking it down I don't think there's anything wrong with that I think when it's like the wild rumors and they just kind of float around and are taken as fact I mean those those can either hurt or destroy a film but I mean you could also look at it like people just there's a lot of haters out there and then they'll take one per particular thing that is a fact and just keep running with that and run it into the ground so that becomes a thing like say with Batman v Superman the you know appearance of doomsday it's like sure we weren't very happy about it but you know I think DC Warner Brothers realized let's play let's pull that back a little bit and let's concentrate on Batman v Superman versus Superman that's you know I think they look people learn by their mistakes so. yeah one of my favorite dining establishments is Taco Bell and when I go to Taco <laughs> Bell I know it's not necessarily gonna be good for me I know I probably will regret the decision afterwards but during it it's fun to at least enjoy Taco Bell for that moment that's how I look at online rumors as long as it's presented as this is speculation when it gets into a problem is when people People are reporting it as fact you need and it's not that hard to do it's just say we're hearing this is a rumor we're speculating on this right now this is not set in stone and then you can enjoy it but I will say that it's empty carbs so when it's too much and even Star Wars like I found myself speculating and like writing a whole movie in my head and I had to back off a little bit because I don't want to walk in with such a presumption it's one thing to be optimistic and excited to see a movie it's another thing to go in expecting to see this happen 15 minutes in and then this thing happen and then meet this character and I didn't want to go in there with that kind of specific expectation. I expected the movie to be great. I didn't want to go in and say, I think this is going to happen to Han Solo, and I think this is going to happen to Rey and Finn. I, so I had to back off of that a little bit because after a while, it is empty carbs, and it's just not good for you, and you can feel it actually weighing yourself down a little bit. 
Yeah, I don't know necessarily. I, I understand kind of what you're saying, but not not. I actually do like the theories and the speculations too, because I do like to formulate my own theories and, and kind of what I'm going to see. And if the movie's done well, and the movie's done, because there were a lot of things that happened in Force Awakens that I was dead wrong about, but it was done better than I would have done it. So I was like, okay, that's actually better than the way. If the mm. filmmakers make it in a way, I actually think it's better for you as far as far as a fan goes, because I think that what theories and speculations and rumors can do for you is enhance the fan experience. I think that you know, did you read this? Did you? What did you think? About about this, oh, is this? What, what do you think if maybe this happened this particular way, or so and so is going to get cast in this role? This could be fun. Do you think he could play it? Those types of conversations are good. What I don't like, and what I actually hate when sites do, is post rumors or or, or possible script leaks. I hate that. I think that it, it, I think it takes away from the filmmakers. I don't think that it's it's that they should be out there. I don't want to know actual plot points, speculations. One thing, if you go, well, what if? Uh, you know, Doctor Strange does this, or what if Ray is actually this person, as opposed to, well, we're hearing that this scene, which we read from, from a supposed leak of the script, don't do that, because that's taken away from filmmakers, that's taken away from the experience, because you're giving me a scene, you're taking away that fun, that stuff I hate. Rumors and speculations, and I agree with what you both you guys were saying, Mark, too, in regards to, as long as you say, take this with a grain of salt, this could be something, you're letting us know. Don't tell us it's fact, because then it, when it's not fact, it's gonna bite you in the ass, mm -hmm. and it's happened many times out there. So I think that, but as far as speculation goes, I think that's f a lot of fun, and I really do think it enhances the Don't you draw a line though, Summer? Because I enjoy it for, for what it's yeah. worth for a while too, but there is a line that I'm like, guys, let's stop talking about it. It's, it's like after an hour, and I'm like, can we please stop talking <laughs> about this? Because now it's starting to weigh me down. Well, not me. Well, no, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I, don't, I think that the line is, with the, the line you made for yourself is you don't click on it anymore. Right. I don't think you should tell people not to do it anymore. You should choose, you should have the saying going, you know what? I'm not going to click on it anymore. I'm done. Like, we've got a, we've and, got and, a buddy. And that's where the Taco Bell analogy comes back. Right. Is because it's like, I, I don't want to be eating this 14th right, right. Dorito taco, because, so I need to stop. Yeah, because we've got, we've, I, I have a friend that didn't watch one single trailer for Star Wars, didn't read any articles, wanted to go in fresh. But he understood why everybody else was speculating mm -hmm. and talking about it because that his he just wanted to have a different experience. I don't think that because of that you should because your one experience you should tell other people stop speculating, uh, guys, because I don't want to. Well, it's Christian, like it's you bring up something really a good point because now it's past beyond speculation, beyond talking. We're talking about spoilers, and I am one of the types of people who, for I'd say ninety percent of anything, I don't mind spoilers. Like I don't even care. If you tell me the end of the movie or this or that or if you're telling me something like i i you know sometimes you were like hey i just heard this you want to hear it and you were like no i don't want to hear it you'd want you'd leave the you'd room away, yeah. i, I left like, the room multiple yeah times no i know but i'm like it, give it yeah. to me let's yeah. hear it. let's hear it because i like that because i feel like at least for myself it doesn't affect me in the film i don't even if i know where it's happening in the film i don't know the entire thing i try not to know the entire movie nowadays right. but i don't mind Really? Once, but yeah. as a filmmaker, as a filmmaker and a writer, if yeah. you had a, a movie coming out, a script coming out, and your script got leaked out there about a really cool scene that you put together, you'd be okay with that? No. That's what I mean. But. No, but what I'm saying is like, you I saw, don't, as a fan member, though, I mean, right? I'm saying yeah. is but like, not, be, but no, be, but we don't talk about spoilers. To, uh, yeah, not in the outer community. Yeah. If you find out about something and you talk with your friends about right, it, that's right, right. totally you releasing and I have it, had but not releasing it into the world. You yes. and I have had yeah, yeah, conversations yeah. that I've, I've seen a movie and you're like, okay, well, what happens here? And I'm like, are you sure you want to hear this? And you're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, it tells, and then you're like, and how's it end? I'm like, okay, it goes like this. And you go, all right, that sounds good. I'm going to go see it. Yes. After you've heard all the spoilers, then you wanted to go see it. Yeah, but I totally appreciate and understand people on the you know online community like on Twitter or Facebook don't ruin the stuff right. like it's for me like walking dead don't tell me what happened like that's the I'm I'm specifically like that show I want to just watch that right, right. so there's specific things and I think everyone has their own specific things and I think you should respect that and that's what I think that lack of respect online is something that I'm talking Agreed. about yeah you know so. by the way there's a dude who gets eaten by zombies what <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> zombies eating yeah. zombies yeah. in what? Star Wars what? Yeah. hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.